Hello guys, welcome to PVS the Tutor. Today under mathematics we we'll look at question A and B there that is a single fraction and a part of a vector geometry. So I have question A which says express 6 over n minus 3 minus 5 over n minus 2 now as a single fraction in simplest form. Now this is a single fraction now. How do you go about it? So the first thing to do is you write the way it is. 5 n minus 2. The next thing is the, you find the common denominator where n minus 3 and n minus 2 can go. And those common denominator are the same and n minus 2. So the moment you bring this one here, you say n minus 3 divided into n minus 3. That's 1. You remain with this. So the moment you remain with this, you multiply this by 6. So it becomes 6 n minus 2 minus when you bring this one here you remain with this one so that one becomes so that becomes 5 n minus 3 so next now we say we expand now 6 times n times negative 2 that is 6 n minus 12 then we get we expand that, that is negative 5n plus 15 over n minus 3 n minus 2 so i'll put i'll put the answer here so when you correct the like terms 6n and negative 5n is going to give you n the negative negative 12 and positive uh, 15 to give you positive 3 over n minus 3 n minus 2 so that's how you can solve that one as a um, single fraction so we are done let's look at the b part b so question b says in the diagram below vector o a is equal to a and vector OB is equal to B, given that SC over CB is, is equal to 1 over 2. So we need to understand what this means. What that means is SC is in the ratio with CB, which is 1 to 2. Therefore, SC is 1 over total ratio, which is 3, and CB is 2 over so that when you add the two they give you one so this is what they mean by sc and this is what they mean by c uh cb you add the total ratio then you make it over the 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 initial ratio now let's go to the x place in terms of a and or or b so a b for us to move from a to b it means you we need to reach point B as our destination. So we can move from A O to O B. So we are adding A O plus O B. Now when we look at A O, A O is negative of O A. Then we say plus O B. This will give you negative A dash plus b this will lead you to b minus a as your vector a b now when we look at sc they are saying find sc now from the ratio that we've been given you know that we know that sc is 1 over 3 of a b therefore it's 1 over 3 a b we found that it was b minus a so this is what a c is that's all finding o c it just means we need to move from our destination is c so o c is there we can reach C by moving from OA to AC. 
then you reach C. We can also move from there to there, but we don't have B, C. We can, we, we, we are, we, we, we can start finding B, which is a wrong process, so we can use whatever we have, which is from there to there. So we we'll say O, C is equal to O, A plus A, C. Now, we know that O, A, we, we already have is A bar and AC with the one we found in B, it's 1 over 3 of B minus A. If you want, you can start expanding and doing all those things, but I'll end here, which is just according to the number of marks. I can't go any further unless otherwise. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share. In case you need clarification, please don't forget to comment in the video. Thank you. PVS the tutor.